978 regular season games, 965 points. Maurice the Rocket Richard was a prolific scorer and dominant during his 18 seasons with the Montreal Canadiens from 1942 to 1960. During an era where scoring 20 goals in a season made you a star player, Maurice bettered this mark in 14 consecutive years. Most notably, the skilled score was the first in NHL history to reach the 50 goal plateau and did so in just 50 games. He was a player that did not crack under pressure as his regular season dominance followed into the playoffs. He amassed 126 points in 133 games while leading his Canadian team to 8 Stanley Cups. To French Canadians, Richard was an idol to his fans and a symbol of French Canadian sporting excellence in a game that was dominated by English Canadians. It was a tough life on the ice for Richard. Being one of the stars in the league, opponents used to constantly try to slow down the rock by hitting and heckling him about his French background. The hazing did not only come from his opponents, but also his own coaching staff, who believed Richard's best performances were brought out when he was enraged. During Maurice's time in the NHL, there were many social aspects affecting how Richard was perceived. One of which was the presence of World War II, which was thought to ease the level of competition in the league as many players left their respective organizations to enlist in the army, thus making it easier for Richard to produce points. This idea was quickly squashed, however, when the players returned from war and Richard was still dominating the league. Perhaps the largest social determinant that he faced was the consistent rising tension between English and French-speaking Canada. This feud between the Anglophones and Francophones had a long history dating back to the 1800s and further. During Richard's time in the NHL, he would face a lot of discrimination from a majority of his English-speaking opponents. This tension finally boiled over in what is now known today as the Richard Riot. March 13, 1955, during a contest between the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens, Richard got into an altercation with Boston's Hal Laco. Some accounts of this incident describe Richard charging at Laco when a linesman stepped in and held him. In an attempt to break free, Richard turned around and struck the linesman. He was then ejected from that game and would be further disciplined. Two days later, Richard met with the president of the NHL, Clarence Campbell. The two have had a rocky relationship in the past, and Richard was suspended earlier that season for a separate fight, suggesting this impending punishment would be more severe. Campbell made his decision to suspend Richard for the remainder of the regular season and all of the playoffs. Local media and fans around the Francophone community were outraged by this decision, suggesting that Richard was targeted by Campbell for his French ethnicity, which led to his decision. Despite the words of the Montreal mayor urging Campbell to avoid attending the Canadiens' next home game, Campbell was still in attendance at the March 17th game. Outside of the Montreal Forum where the Canadiens played, fans gathered before the game with signs in protest of Campbell's decision. During the game, fans threw food, shoes, and for one, a tear gas bomb at Campbell. When the tear gas exploded, there was an evacuation of the Forum and the game was ended after only the first period. Outside, a riot ensued where windows were smashed, shops were looted, and approximately half a million dollars in damage was done in the area. This riot lasted until about 3 a.m. The next morning, Richard issued a statement on the radio saying that he will accept his punishment and urge the fans to cool down and support the Canadians through upcoming playoffs. Francophones saw themselves as a disadvantage within Canada. Richard was a French-Canadian player that had been suspended by an Anglophone president of a mostly Anglophone-populated league. He was seen as a hero by many French-Canadians, and his suspension symbolized revenge to the Francophone community. This resulting riot had a much deeper meaning. It was a clear sign of ethnic tension boiling over. This incident remains one of the most memorable events in Canadian sport history, and some believe it was a prelude to Quebec's quiet revolution in the 1960s. Following the suspension, Richard continued his successful career in the NHL and eventually retired on September 15, 1960. Maurice was a legend to the game of hockey and was recognized as one of the all-time greatest to ever lace up the skates. The Hockey Hall of Fame realized this and waived the usual three-year wait period and immediately inducted Richard in 1961. His famous number 9 was also retired that year by the Canadians on October 6. Fans showed their gratitude to Richard at the final game of the Montreal Forum on March 11, 1996 where several Hall of Famers were present. When Richard's name was announced, the crowd gave him a 15-minute standing ovation that saw the Rockets standing at center ice with tears in his eyes. In 1999, the NHL named an award in his honor that was given to the league's top goal scorer during the regular season. Maurice the Rocket Richard later lost his battle with cancer in the year 2000. The nationally broadcasted state funeral, which was the first ever for a Canadian athlete, showed tens of thousands paying their final respects to the legend. He will forever be known as a hero for not only the French-Canadian population, but also to all involved in the hockey community and beyond.